Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kate for whoever's new here. And I actually recently just got in the mail this curling iron slash hair straightener from Amazon. And it's in the brand Blue Top. And I haven't really tested this out yet, so I thought it would be fun to test this out. My hair is normally very curly, but I actually did fall asleep with it a little bit wet in a messy bun um, last night. So just for the purpose of this video, it's a little bit wavy, so I thought it'd be a good idea to test how the straightener works on this as well. And then I think I'll do curling after. So just so you can see how well the straightener works, because straightening my hair normally wouldn't really do anything because it's normally pretty straight, but right now it's got waves and cur it looks like it's curled and stuff like that a little bit. So, um, while this is, I'm going to let this heat up and then I'm going to put heat protectant in my hair and then I'll be right back. Okay, so it's just heating up and I have this set to the, oh, to the highest temperature. You guys aren't going to be able to read that. It's 230, 230 degrees Celsius. So I already put the heat protectant in, and I'm going to put the top part of my hair up, and then focus on the bottom section first. Now again, I haven't tested this out, I wanted to kind of wait it, because I wanted to, for the sake of it, show my first reaction on the video as well. So when I curl my hair and straighten my hair, I tend to do smaller sections. Wow. That's actually really good. And obviously, this is not sponsored. I'm not getting paid to talk about this um, set, this curling iron slash wand. I just thought it'd be kind of a fun video. This is actually really good. This was only like $39 or something like that, so my expectations weren't super high. I mean, mind you, I haven't ever had a high-end curling iron or straightener or any hair tools for that matter. But you can tell just the difference between this side and that side. And it doesn't... Um, it doesn't seem to be pulling on my hair, some straighteners. Um, you can either get it caught, or it feels, you can feel it pulling. But it does not do that. It's really gentle. And when you clamp on it, it doesn't clamp down completely and like, pull your hair obviously. Which is really good. Let me do this last one. Okay, so I just took the last section down and I'm finishing off the straight, straightening the side and then I'll be done. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, well not really mention, but like, this curling tool, or this hot tool, is actually the reason why I got this. It's really convenient to just have one tool like this, especially if you're traveling. Um, it's a space saver, and it, I just think it's convenient to just have one little thing pack in your bag. You can curl and straighten your hair with it. I haven't tried the curling part yet, but I'm going to do that as well after I finish straightening it. I just, I think I'm going to leave one side undone, one hair, one side straight, one side curled just so that you can see how both of them work. I'm really pleasantly surprised with this so far though, with the, at least the straightening part. And I will link below as well um, my heat protectant and the hairspray I'm using. I'll link it down below. Ooh. Oh my gosh. It's 
stay back. Last section. So that's it for the straight roll cut. I feel like that makes a huge difference in what my hair looks like before compared to now. I mean, like I said, normally I have pretty straight hair, so I don't use the straightening part very often, but I think that did a really good job. Um, just from having my hair up in a bun, it was really wavy and looked almost curled, and now it looks really good. Um, so, I'm going to let my hair like rest for a little bit, and then I'll be back. Hey guys, so I am just gave my hair a bit of a break, let it cool down a little bit, and I'm going to try the curling side on this as well. I haven't really looked at the instructions, which I probably should have done, or how to do this, so I'm just going to try a couple different things first, just see if I can figure it out. I'll do a smaller six, just in case I do this wrong. Okay. I'm thinking you either do it one of two ways when you do that. And then you pull. Do it. So yeah, either you do this, because the outside does get fairly hot. Let's give this a few seconds. Not really. Kind of, but not really. The other thing I'm thinking is you go like rotate and you can rotate. Oh, well, that kind of did it. I just have to keep doing it. And just keep pulling downward. That kind of did it. Oh, yeah, that did it. I mean, not at the ends because I kind of got my hair caught in it a little bit. There we go. I do like my ends to be a little bit. Um, like straight anyway. I don't, when I curl them, I don't curl it all the way. So looking at the instructions because. And you do have to make sure. I'm trying not to clamp down super hard either. This is really fun though. Once you get the hang of it, it's always clamping too hard. It's so pretty. Pretty. I'm just trying to get the pen figured out a little bit. There we go. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it, I think. So I'm just going to finish um, the rest of it and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I just finished the side of my hair. And I was originally going to just leave half and half, but I think it'd be good to do the rest of it. So I just put the rest of it up in this little bun, which looks really cute. <laughs> and I'm going to... I'm going to finish this side as well. So again, I just think it's really... It's making really pretty, like, loose, loose, loose curls, which I really like. So, I'm just gonna, I should start the back. I'm just gonna finish off this bottom section, and I'll speed it up. I think I'm getting the hang of it a little bit. It takes some getting used to just 
because with curling iron, I'm used to having the whole barrel be hot and it's at the top of this. You can hold onto this and it won't get, you won't burn yourself. And two so with twisting it, like just figuring out the, how you twist it and clamp it and stuff like that. It does take some getting used to. But once you get the hang of it, it's really easy to use. I'm gonna try a big section here just to see how it does. This is like probably double the size of that I would normally do. No. Oh my god, I'm so used to um putting it at the bottom of my hair. I almost like straighten my hair once through every time like that <laughs> and then I curl it. So I'm gonna finish curling my hair and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so I just finished using the curling part of it. Um, I'm not sure if it was because I didn't read the instructions or just couldn't get down the synchronization or anything of this, but it was really hard to use this curling thing. Um, just getting used to like the barrel not getting hot and not you have to have it in this little section. I always keep getting it down here because I'm so used to having the whole thing get hot. Um, and then my hair is getting tangled because you were like twisting it, I find, with the curling part of it. It did pull more on my hair. Um, but as far as the straightening part of it, I loved it. I thought it was amazing. I like how this has full swivel things. You don't have to worry about your cord being one certain way. Um, I don't know if I just have to get more comfortable with it. But as far as like how the curls look, I mean, you might not even really be able to tell how curly it is. But it's just really loose, like subtle, 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 subtle curls, which I really like. Um... Okay guys, so that's the finished curl. I kind of stood up just so you could see the close-up, the close-up version in like natural light. Um, it just gives really kind of subtle, loose, beachy curls, which I kind of like. Um, so if you guys like this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys!